Hello students, hope you all are doing well, right? Yes. Welcome to Evershine Coaching Center, myself Faisal sir here. Dear students, today I am going to discuss the theorem, it is one of the very important theorem that is known as Thales theorem. That is also called as Basic Proportionality Theorem, that is BPT, shortcut form is BPT. Children, for you people, uh, you can expect the question in various forms, example, they can ask you the question like this state basic proportionality theorem or state Thales theorem it means what you have to write only the statement that's it if they ask you the question like this state and prove BPT then you have to write the statement as well you need to prove the statement both you have to write got it if they ask only prove that and if they give the statement just you have to prove the statement again you no need to write once again the same statement now here we can see the question is state and prove basic proportionality theorem here for you people have given two statements out of these two statement whichever is convenient to you or you feel easy you can just follow that statement okay both have same meaning but uh, the way of writing the uh, statement is quite different that's it but the meaning remains same if a straight line is drawn parallel to a side of a triangle then it divides the other two sides proportionally or the question also can be asked for you in this way if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points the other two other two sides are divided in the same ratio okay let's see how to prove this theorem children what i will be doing here first i am going to uh, take first i am going to write the data Children, everything depends upon the figure. Be careful. Your diagram is very, very, very important. Now, what is the question? Statement states, if a straight line is drawn parallel to a side of a triangle, it means what? I have drawn one triangle. I have drawn one triangle. Let me to name this triangle name as ABC. I have given the name of this triangle is ABC. Okay, in which I am going to draw one side for any of the sides i'm going to draw one side which is parallel which is parallel to any side so here what i will be doing i'm drawing the side which is parallel to bc which is parallel to bc so this line is parallel to bc i will name this side as de i'm going to name this side as de that is what given in the statement if this happens if this is the case okay data in triangle abc in triangle ABC, DE is parallel to BC, correct? If a straight line is drawn parallel to a set of a triangle, what happens? We have to prove it divides the other two sides proportionally. Understood? If these are the two parallel sides, then we have to prove it divides the other two sides proportionally. That is AD by DB is equals to AE by EC. This is what we have to prove. Okay, if this line is parallel to this, we have to prove AD by DB equals AE by EC. Now construction. Now construction. Children, before I could go for the construction, I just want to tell you one important thing. <laughs> Suppose this is triangle ABC, right? And this is the side DE, which is parallel to BC. Opposite to these two sides, which is the point is there? If those sides ke opposite me konsa point hai? A. It means we have to start from A. If you are not understanding, I'll give you one more clue. Example, let me to say this is ABC and this is DE. These both are parallel sides, right? Opposite is two parallel sides, which is the point is there? C. It means C is the starting point. If you want to write BPT, okay, half by half. Remember the logic? <laughs> half by half means A is the starting point, right? Start from A, that is AD by DB. This is BPT, right? AD by db is equals to ae by ec this is bpt if c is the starting point then cd by da is equals to ce by eb half by half half by half okay if c is the starting point c these two are parallel sides right if there are two parallel sides if there are two points there are starting point number if there are two parallel sides if there are two parallel sides if the point is C. So C is the starting point. So on that basis, I have taken this. Is this clear? <laughs> okay. Now, 
half by half you need to remember this logic half by half construction i'm going to do, uh, do this construction in two steps step number one and step number two first what i will be doing is very simple i am going to join the diagonals right see can you see here this is one diagonal uh, just a minute <coughs> i am going to join d2c and then b2e right so join dc and be join dc and be this is case 1 case 2 draw draw en can, can you see this ad yes this ad just take midpoint of ad midpoint of ad okay then join from here to here that is nothing but join el perpendicular to which side ab okay draw el perpendicular to uh, you can take any alphabets as per your textbook if i go it has given as n so i'll take n itself okay <laughs> so that you should not get confused okay fine you can take any alphabets as you wish anyways draw en perpendicular to ab draw en perpendicular to ab and and d m perpendicular to and dm perpendicular to ac and dm perpendicular to ac is this clear <laughs> good now proof children this proof is so easy and so simple you cannot believe it's so easy and so simple now what i will be doing for this proof very simple i'll tell you what i will be doing just take bigger triangle bigger triangle means top triangle just i'm comparing what i am doing i'm just comparing what comparing i'll show you if you draw this kind of figures and if you solve it will be easy for you okay i'm taking ade top triangle can you see ade okay top triangle any doubts in the beginning we had triangle ade right yeah the top triangle now can you see in this bottom side can you see in this bottom side uh, i'll just show you once again <laughs> how exactly it is this is our triangle right abc and this is our parallel line de now can you see this hatching part yes this is my top triangle this is called as top triangle <coughs> now what i will do this top triangle i will compare with i will compare with i'll show you one more figure i'll show you one more figure okay now can you see i have drawn the diagonals yeah first you take left side then you take right side remember this concept top triangle left side triangle case one top triangle right side triangle case two what i am saying this is my top triangle right and this is my left side no and this is my right side ye hamara left side hai aur ye hamara right side hai correct so top triangle i am taking this left side can you see this i am taking this left side so i will take only this triangle can you see this yeah this triangle <laughs> so what i am doing i am comparing this top triangle with left side triangle that is case one again one more step this top triangle i am going with this right side triangle that is case two you understood no what i am doing here top triangle compare with left side triangle again top triangle compare with right side triangle left side right side now you understood yes that is what i am going to do now <laughs> understood for your convenient what i will do i'll take i'll just take like this figure this is my top triangle you can just write one small figure okay that is a d e this is top triangle left side left means where it starts from d right and here is b can you see this this is d and this is b if you want to uh, form a triangle what i what i will be doing see here i'll show you one more simple step first draw this baseline de draw this baseline de if you want left side take b if you want left side then take b join here 
join here you understood no you understood this basic yeah if you want left side triangle first you draw this base de take b in similarly similarly uh, case 2 case 2 what i will do uh, i'll take this triangle ade ade draw this base what is this base de i want right side triangle so what you should do you have to take this point which is that point c you have to take point c you understood no top triangle is ade left side triangle is bde here top triangle is ade left side triangle is cd same thing i'm going to write here okay but what i will do i'm taking area <laughs> areas of these both triangles okay that is area of triangle ade by area of triangle uh, b area of triangle bde okay if you get confused what you do you can just give the title that is uh, in triangle ade and triangle bde in these two triangles ad and triangle bde what we are doing that is area of triangle ade by area of triangle bde is equals to put one line put one line just little bit line here just write dot 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 write the reason we know that area of triangle is equals to half into base into height <coughs> okay area of triangle is what half into base into height just write this half here also you write half i'm giving the logic into into half finished base base means this line is our base which is the line ad and which is the line here pd this is our base just write ad by db ad by db any doubts ad by db into into okay now to find height this is our height which is the height be <laughs> can you see here uh, just a minute uh, i'll just change the color of the pen uh, let me to choose this okay this is my height what is this be then exactly parallel to that exactly parallel to this see exactly parallel to this uh, instead of that you can do one more thing i'll one more clue easy method okay this is left side no we are taking left side on left side what is the point is here on left side which point was there that is n correct no on left side which is the point n so what is the side here what is the side here n so you can just take it as en en to do like this just write en en <laughs> no doubt is this clear did you understood yeah now what i will do observe here that's nothing but is equals to this half this half get cancelled this en this en get cancelled so what is left out ad by db that's nothing but area of triangle ade <laughs> by area of triangle bde is equals to ad by db equation 1 it is equation 1 similarly same as it is we need to do see left side means we have taken left side base okay same way if you want you can write here in triangle ade and triangle cde and triangle cde so what we can write here area of triangle ade by area of triangle cde is equals to just draw one line just write dots and here you write the reason we know that area of triangle is half into base into height same way half half base what we are taking base if you want to take base as i said you it is right side triangle so it so you should take this right side values okay that is ae by 
AC into into. To find height on this AE side, on this AC or AE side, what is the point we have mentioned? That is M. Correct? No? That's nothing but M. Join this. So what is this line? DM. What is this line? DM. Right here, DM by DM. Enough. Same thing you write. Actually, if you go according to formula, we have to show parallelly. But to solve in easiest way, I am just showing you the logic. How to do this. DM, DM. Now this of this of get cancelled, this dm, this dm get cancelled. Simple. If you want to if you are taking left side, take left side value L. Sorry, N. Understood. If you are taking right side, base base M. Got it? Now we can say that area of triangle ADE by area of triangle CDE is equals to AE by EC. This is my equation 2. This is equation 2. So now we can say that therefore from equation 1 and 2 we can see the we can see here area of triangle AD by area of triangle BD is equals to AD by DB and here area of triangle AD by area of triangle CD is equals to AE by EC. But we can see uh, just I will show you here. <laughs> okay. Observe you. This was our actual triangle, right? Because I have to go up. So that's the reason I'm doing here. No need to draw. Just observe you. This is the case, right? Now we can see here. How much is this area? Even the corresponding this area will also be same. Understood? BDE, what is the area? Even CDE area is also same. It means that we can say that area of triangle BDE is equals to area of triangle CDE. Correct? You can say right? Because area of triangle BDE is equals to area of triangle CDE. This both the areas are equal. Right? Now we can see the LHS. If you see the LHS, what was the LHS in numerator here? Can you see this? The LHS part was what? Area of triangle ED. Here area of triangle ED. Here also area of triangle ED. Now here from this we conclude that Area of triangle BD is equal to area of triangle CD. These both are equal. It means both the side LHS are also equal. Both the side LHS are equal. So we can say that therefore AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. Since both the LHS are equal, so even RHS are also equal this is what actually we want to prove hence proved understood ad by db is equals to ae by ec this is our theorem basic proportionality theorem i hope you all have understood this theorem in an easiest way so you can apply the logics okay in an easiest manner you can remember this theorem no need to mug up do well got it if you like this video do not forget to comment how did you like this video okay how much it was helpful to you and anyways uh, don't forget to share comment and subscribe this channel evasion coaching groups thank you for watching this video best of luck